Chemical Marcus. <laughs> that was like inside as well. <laughs> Marcus, what kind of take us through the process? I mean, when did you start really getting serious about wanting to come back and, and, and thinking that would be a possibility? Uh, it really never just crossed my mind to not want to come back, but it was just. Uh, it was a decision that really needs some thinking going towards it. You know, with all the injuries over the years, I just had to, to really just sit down and think about, you know, going back through the same thing as far as if I get injured again, how would I take it, you know? Or as far as just, you know, just pushing forward and just doing it all over again. So it, it, was, a, it was a life journey, you know what I'm saying? It was a life lesson, you know what I'm saying? I don't regret it. How do you feel now? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, it, it's been fun, you know, this this two day camp is it's exciting for me, you know. I, I already had knew what to expect, so for me just going in it was just all about getting back in shape and uh just understanding the offense from a coaching point. You got to skip a semester off of Bailey's too in the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um I came back in, in June, June first and I hit it hard so you know. You feel like you're. You feel like you're SEC ready still. You feel like you're a guy who could put up with that. Yeah. 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 I'm ready. I mean, you know, it, I've been playing this game for a long time, so you know, I know what to expect. So for me, it's just repetition, learning the, learning the new offense, what we got installed, and you know, just trying to be, being an influence on guys like Brandon. You capable of having another season like we saw back in '09? Seems like almost forever ago now, but you had you know thirty plus catches doing things like that. Well, you know, it it depends on how, what we do. You know, my my whole thing is uh, to play the role. You know, uh, like you said, no nine. You know, I was healthy then. I'm healthy now. Brandon, you know, with Malcolm getting hurt, it's, it's even a bigger deal that that Marcus, you know, get that sixth year because of that. I know that's obviously nobody wanted that to happen, but you know how how important now, even more so, does that become? Like, I feel like it's very important because with Green coming back, he give us a lot, bit, a lot more experience at our position. Us being a, a young group, like, I'm just a sophomore. And Rufus, he, he's coming up off his red shirt year. And um, Gus, he, um, he, 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 he made red shirt this year, but he's a freshman. But I feel like he give us a lot of experience and, you know, basically. What's it mean to you to have Marcus back for another year and be able to learn and be around him more? Like, it, it means a lot because with Marcus, like, whatever I feel like, I can watch him. I, can, I feel like I can watch him and, and learn something, add something to my game. Uh, you know, I can also help him whichever way with uh, my strengths and his strengths. So I feel like we can coexist together. You and, Ma you and Malcolm were, were splitting a lot of reps in the spring together, and, and both of y'all were expected to play a good bit, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of, of Malcolm getting hurt, but feel more. Not more pressure, but more responsibility now with Malcolm out early on. I mean, in your role. No, not not necessarily. I feel like you know, every day we train to um to to get better. You know, you, you train to uh, fulfill whatever need that we have. So if it's needed for me to play, you know, X amount of reps, that's that's what I'm gonna do. How much did last year getting on the field, you know, getting some reps, getting some experience, how much did that help you prepare for this year, kind of knowing what to expect and kind of some things that you needed to work on? Well, it helped me a lot because um, with the speed, you know, us play, playing against our defense, we're, we're a top SEC defense, so I get to learn from, you know, the speed of the game and try to, like, make adjustments whichever way I can. So I'm just soaking it all in right now. Marcus, a lot of people, you know, were impressed with Malcolm, but what, what, what have you seen uh, Brandon uh, do in his development? The thing about Brandon, he, you know, you can get on to him, he never gives up, you know. That's the key thing about it, you know. He, he take coaching as far as, you know, understanding his mistakes. So, you know, it be times that, you know, I might snatch him up and be like, hey, Brandon, you did something wrong. And, you know, just his attitude, man, he got a beautiful attitude, you know. He... Like he said, he soaks and absorbs, you know, as much as he can. Kind of for both of y'all. Both of y'all come from small school. I think y'all schools even play each other in high school. Uh, I mean, what's what's that level of development like coming from small school to the SEC? I mean, both of y'all been through it. I mean, how long does it take to really for things to start slowing down for you? Uh, 
that takes a lot, man. You know, I played at two <coughs> two uh, two A high school, so you know, it's it's a lot more fast. You know, being in college, you know, it, it's just one point. You know, when you play in one position in high school, and you think when you get to college, you're gonna play that same position. And you like, well, I might not be as good as somebody else at this position. So you know, I think with with that year of red shirt, you know, it, it helps you seize the game from uh, a standpoint, a side point, you know, and realize that, hey, you know, I need to get bigger, faster, and stronger. Like you, Brandon, I mean, you're kind of like Marcus played all over the field in high school and then just kind of concentrate. What's that like when coming to the SEC? Just like you said, um, the game is a lot faster, and we're playing against much bigger people. You know, like going to high school, I was on 1A, 2A. So, you know, we was pretty much dominant at our school, so now you come here, everybody dominant. So you just gotta try to find a way to get better, find a way to get an edge any way possible. So that's pretty much the speed, the size, and you know even scheming. Cause I was I wasn't really deep in scheming at my high school. It was pretty much go out and play the game because you're better than everybody else. Now you gotta you gotta work. Marcus, you ever think about? It? You guys are, are predicted by most to have a, another winning season and go to a bowl game. I mean, that'd be four bowls for you in, in your college career. I mean, it's a pretty successful career. That's something you think about. Look back on. Man, all we think about is just executing at that point in time, whether it be practice or a game. Uh, you know, we take practice very serious. So, you know, our, our whole thing is what can we do to to help ourselves. As far as for me, go is what can I do to help the team? You know, and uh, just. You know, I sit back and, you know, you hear that stuff, but you really can't just let that get a edge on you. So, really, I don't really pay attention, but I hear it. Marcus, you, you had to have been watching the spring on the street clothes just thinking you were done. Am I, am I wrong in that assumption, or is that kind of more or less where your head is at? Uh, I'm a Mississippi Bulldog forever, so, you know, I'm just coming out support at right. one point in time, you know. But what was that like for you to just kind of just watch, knowing, you know, you could be out there, but, you know, there was, there was just that... There was that doubt, and there was that question mark of whether you were going to be out there. Well, it was just like you know, uh, at the at the moment I did come back and watch, I just wanted to see my teammates. You know, I hadn't been around them in a while, so you know, uh, just to be out there in the atmosphere of just watching Brandon Hill, watching Malcolm, watching Chad Bumpus, watching Tyler. You know, at one point in time they were just coming in, but now you know they got roles to fill. You know, so. For me, it was just like, you know, I wanted to just, you know, let them know I still support them either way it went. Marcus, I was, we talked about Tyler. How has he changed since he's been here? You've had eyes on him since he's been here, obviously. What's he been like? Yeah, Tyler got that experience on his belt. So, you know, with, with that being said, you know, I think he's, he's learning that, you know, hey, there's no more, no, nobody in front of me no more. You know, I got to take the step. Like I said, it was roles that need to be filled and Tyler knew that at one point in time that hey his shot was gonna come and I always told him, you know, you always gotta be ready, you know. You got a lot of uh, not a lot, but several former all state basketball players on this team. How intense are the pickup games when you always do this? <laughs> <laughs> <get> intense now. <laughs> you get real intense. <laughs> Me and Brandon were discussing earlier one on one. You know, <laughs> You know, I might be an old man, but I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 